What's up guys, Gallis Fitness here. So today I'm gonna show you how to measure the resistance of your resistant band with luggage or fish scales. So let's get right to it. So what you will need is a luggage or fish scale. And then obviously you will need your bands. It is very simple thing to do. And the great thing about measuring the actual resistance is, you know how much you are lifting basically, how much stress you're putting on the muscle for it to grow because one day you can stand a little bit off for example you're doing your lateral raises and one day you can be the resistance can be five kilograms or 10 pounds and the other day it can be two three pounds more or less so you cannot really track your progress and that was one thing i didn't like about resistant bands that i couldn't track the progress on it because i never knew how much really how much weight I'm really like lifting, even though it says the actual resistance usually when you're buying the, the bands between eight to 16 kilos or 10 to 20 pounds, it's a massive a difference. So it depends how, how much uh, tension you put on it. So I figured out if I can somehow gauge how much I'm lifting, I can actually start tracking it. The downside of resistant bands is the, the, the strength curve because obviously the most resistance is here, the least is here. So even if you, if you measure it, you will get the highest resistance. You won't get the whole curve or you won't get the average resistance. You will get, get the highest resistance, but I still think it's worth measuring it because you can still track if you are getting or not getting stronger. So you can have a handle or you don't have to have a handle. You have a resistant band, you attach it and make sure scale is on zero. I hook it. I usually pick a point on the ground or put something there and be like, okay, I'm going to stand here with my left leg and I'm going to do one rep now after that one rep I check all right this says uh it says four kilos I don't know, nine pounds now I know how much resistance was at the top of the movement of movement or at the at the part where there was the highest tension now that I have picked uh, the, the place, so I know where I stood, I just pick the band and I can start doing the reps. And I know that I'm lifting about four kilos while I'm doing this exercise consistently. Obviously, if you, if you move in a different way, you, you really have to make sure that where you measured is where you stand after you measure it. You, you can use it with different bands, obviously. So this one is stronger, so I would do the same thing. You can do, use it with any exercise. I use it for doing my external, internal rotations. I do it uh, for my lateral raises. You can do it for bicep curls. You can do it for anything. And it's really great because you can track your progress with resistance bands. Whereas if you don't know how much you're lifting, you cannot really track it. You are just guessing how much you are lifting in actuality. So these, these scales are pretty cheap. They are not expensive. You can have them digital. I bought the cheaper one. Uh, it goes up to 80 pounds, which is 35, more like around 35, 40 kilograms, which is enough. I don't know who's using a, a band that uh, creates more tension than that, than that, because then it's, it's gonna become very hard to even move it because it's gonna be very stiff. So this is it for the video, guys. I hope it helped. If you would like similar videos, then let me know in the comments and see you next time.